there Libra this is Lynn from Tinker Tarot welcome to my channel I'm here to do your March 2018 reading um, first I want to say thank you so much for all your views it's really flattering to me that you enjoyed the video and the reading um Thank you for all your likes and shares and subscribes. And I really enjoy reading your comments, too. Thank you very much. Um, uh, but anyway, well, let's get on with your reading. I do want to mention also that March is, um, in Canada, is the sugar moon. And the sugar moon is about the sugar bush, which we call where all the all the maple trees are. And we tap the maple trees for the sap in them. And we call that the sweet water, which m makes um, maple syrup. So um, it's a big celebration here. Uh, we call it um, Maple Madness. And um, also March is the spring equinox on the 21st and St. Patty's Day, of course. So happy St. Patrick's Day to all my Irish viewers. That's a day I celebrate. It's one of my favorite days of the whole year. I'm Irish, as you can probably tell. But anyway, uh, Libra, so let's get on with your March reading. I've shuffled the cards quite a bit already, so they should be just about ready to go. For Libra, March 2018. Libra, March 2018. March 2018, Libra. What messages do we have for you this month, Libra? All right. Your first card in your past energy is the King of Pentacles. Okay. Ah, uh, glare. So the K King of Pentacles is, you know, this guy is resting on his laurels. He's so comfortable and not really concerned with anything else that's going on. Um, whereas my darn glasses shoot. And, um, you know, he's not a fast-moving energy. This king is um, a earth sign, um, a Capricorn, Taurus, or um, Virgo, earth sign. So, they're not a fast-moving energy at all. He's completely comfortable. He's not going anywhere. And he's really comfortable in... Um, where he is and who he is you know he he's confident he's he's not defensive in any way you know he's confident and relaxed and comfortable this is this could be someone uh well this is your past energy so this was this is someone in your past energy um and i usually take the cards as how they're presented you know, and this is a king, so I think this is a man around you, an earth energy around you that you know, he really takes his time in deciding what he wants to do and he looks something over thoroughly. He's very very thorough type of person, okay? And um before he'll decide if he's going to give it his energy or not you know that's that's where this fella comes from and then you have the empress and the empress um is the embodiment of a woman um it is you know she is all women she she it, it represents birth a lot of times or the birth of something And the mother, you know, she represents the mother, too. She's Mother Nature. She's Mother Earth. You know, it, 
And she has this, um, all this energy stirring around her, like the whole zodiac is, is, is like a hula hoop around her. She's holding the, the circle, the, the symbol of the woman. And she's stirring up some sort of emotions around here, you know, in your past energy. There's, there's, there's some energy being stirred up here. Uh, let's see where this takes us. I'm not sure what this, this is brewing. There's something brewing here. Okay, next you have strength. And the strength is about harnessing or leashing your uh, inner beast, your anger, your, um, aggressiveness. Okay. And she's conquered this lion and she, um, but she has a loose leash on it and she can, she can unleash this lion at any time. Uh, but she's going to contain it. She's going to um, uh, try and handle things. So you're going to try and handle things from a much cooler perspective, a, a, um, a much more calm and controlled perspective. You know, you're not going to, you've got a, you've got a loose leash on your temper is how I see it here. Okay, you've got a loose leash on your temper and at least you have a leash on it, you know? You've got it under control right now and that's what this is about. Getting that under control, your you don't have to react every time your anger is stirred up or your um sometimes it's it's the champion in you too you know it's not just about you know you being mad or pissed off it's sometimes about the champion in you and like I said, there's there's something being stirred up, and you're you're getting stirred up by something here, okay? By this guy, I'm thinking, because I don't know. I I, I I think you're getting stirred up in your um you're you're handling it in a, in a different way. You're confronting it, but you're not unleashing your your real feelings, okay? That's that's what I get. It's you're not really unleashing your real feelings because you could say a lot more about what you're thinking about it, but you're containing some of that, you know. You're containing some of it. Um, and your next card is the Four of Cups, and the Four of Cups. <sighs> you know, here's another guy. Oh, this glare driving me crazy. Um, here's this guy. You can't see this card very well. Maybe like that you could. Can't see it very well. But anyway, there's a guy here, and he's leaning on the tree. See him? And and he's being offered this huge cup just out of, it's like, um, it seems like a huge gift. You know, it's just. Right there before him. He's not even asking for it or looking for it. But here it is all the same. And he's so taken by this gift he's being offered, this cup, this offer of love, I think, that he doesn't see that he has something built already. He already has something built here. And, um, you know, this could be someone that you're very sexually attracted to, that you're, you know, they have it all going on. They've got the really nice window dressing. They're beautiful, handsome. Um, I don't know. There's something about 
them that really turns you on. But is it a greener pasture, really? Is it is it better than what you already have built already here, okay? So you are being offered something. I just don't know if you should take it, you know? you got to think about this. Um, and here we go, you know, the seven of cups and this is choices. This is, you have, there's like seven cups there and each one is filled with a different thing, a different, um, quality characteristic, uh, that you might be seeking in someone. But as we know, we can't attain everything in one person, in one single person. But there's important things. There's there's things that mean more to us than the other things. And you have to decide what those things are, what those three top things are. Um, and, and also, this is a card of choices in another way. Like you may have, I think it's this, um, I think it's this emotional choice like you're really looking at your options and what you really want in your picture what's in your picture and what is going to fit in your picture uh, um and blend in your life that's what i get what is going to blend in your life w with what's with what's in your life already you know someone's got to blend with that all right so i think that's look what you're looking for in the qualities and in, in the cups that you're going to pick you know those qualities you're looking for in someone that's going to blend into your life um as it is with what you have going on okay in your present energy, Libra, you have the King of Wands. And the King of Wands is a um, very outgoing character, a uh, fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. And very going, outgoing, very creative, um, assertive, and frank they're quite frank with their language and direct and usually quite friendly and helpful you know they um they've, they've usually have um a, a a big talent pool you know of of uh skills that they have because they have a lot of ho hobbies and interests and so this person is in your present energy in your life now and then you have the six of cups so the six of cups is uh, a, about nostalgia about thinking about what once was how it used to be um the things that from the past that you want to bring into the present is really what it is you know, it's kind of like things that are handed down from our family, uh, traditions, and like the way we raise children. There's certain things that your parents did that you want to continue in your child rearing. There's um, a certain area you used to live in that you'd like to live there again because it just makes you feel good. It makes you feel like home. This is kind of like the going back home card and whatever that is to you, you, there's something about home that you want or you're bringing into your life, whether it's a, a relationship, a person, a, um, um, an estranged relationship, like with a relative or something, or, um, starting to do something like a um i'm going to use the example of saint patty's day since it's coming up and so if it was normally a tradition in your family to go out for saint patty's day and you didn't do that there was some sort of riff in the family and everybody stopped doing it well you know you want to start up that tradition again 
and you you have fond memories of it. it was always a great time and you'd see uncle joe and you know whoever and you want to start that up again because you that's good memories to you and you know something like that like you're going to bring the past to the present but something that feels like home to you whether it's a thing like an you're moving into a family home Yeah, I kind of get in a strong sense of that too, way eh? that like you're moving into your parents' home or your your parents are moving in with you or some something like that. Anyway, it's 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 bringing on nostalgia. All right? So the next card in your present energy is um the hangman. Excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> the hanged man and the hanged man you know here he is suspended he's suspended and um he's suspended under the sun for one thing and there is all kinds of illumination but it it, it it's like it's um he's trying to get up it, it's you know when you're hanging upside down and you're trying to get up and reach the bar to pull yourself up, back up? Uh, but on top of it, he's got this really bright light in his eye and he can't see where the bar is. He, he, um... You know, his... his He's chained to this thing, but not really. Like, you know, the hangman is about making a sacrifice, okay? You need to give something up for something better to come along. And as soon as you give that up, as soon as you're willing to let something go, and it doesn't serve you anymore, you don't need it. Um, you don't want to let it go for some reason. You're clinging on to it. And... You, as soon as you let it go, you know, doors are going to open. You're going to be able to move ahead. Like, it's actually a weight to you, I think. You know, what, whatever this is, it's like you're carrying it. And, and as soon as you can, you can, um, let it go, there will be other things offered to you. I think, it, you know, I think it's got something to do with home, with the past, you know, because here it is beside the Six of Cups. And, you know, your fee, I think there's something in the past you have to let go of. You can't, you can't carry it with you. You you know, you need to take the good and leave the bad is basically what that saying is. is take the good and leave the bad. Um, you know, there's these children here too. And this is why I think it's something maybe from the past, from your childhood, that you need to leave back there. You know, sometimes this can be done in a, in a ceremony type of way. Um, I used to be a youth worker and, and, you know, everyone's got stuff from the past. Every single person's got stuff from the past that they need to shed at some time and maybe many times. Uh, different things over your life but anyway there was this thing uh, that was called unfinished business and you write on a piece of paper who this is to and um uh what it's about you say your feelings you write it all down and 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 get it out on paper and then you take it um well we would anyway we would take it out to a fire pit and we would burn it and, and 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 it's like shedding it's like letting it go and i think you need to do something like that to to close that for you to 
to um, the closure. You know what I mean? You need to do something to symbolic to let it go, get rid of it. That's just an idea. Um, and then there's the Three of Cups. And the Three of Cups is initial celebration. Um, some Three of Cups talks about third-party situation, but this one doesn't. They're all dancing together. It's a celebration. They've come together to, you know, um, like the, the, the drinks are the flowing you know there's there's reason to celebrate it's elation it's feeling good and you know there's they're all wearing different colored dresses these women these emotions and and it's and it's the different emotions they're all coming together okay so it's your your anger and your fear and your faith and your love and your compassion it's all of it and and i it's it's um it's celebratory because i think you're going to really feel fantastic when you can shed that old stuff and it could be based with this fire sign it could be based with this person this person might help you shed this or it could be about this person shedding uh whatever that whatever it is like a, a really harsh parent or um you know uh your last card in your present energy libra is the page of wands now uh the page of wands is a younger person you know um in their 20s or so um, and they, you know, it's when you're first like going out into the wor working world and you're presenting yourself and you're, um, you're getting your first jobs and your first chances out there. And the pages are also about their messengers, you know, so this could be a job offer, a uh, news of a job, news of something about where you work. Like because it's a page, it might be something new, um, for you to do like that you you have you haven't done this before i think this is a new position because you feel young i, I just mean you feel inexperienced at it i guess is what i'm going to say you feel inexperienced but I, you look really um enthusiastic you know you welcome the challenge and I, 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 you know, fire signs, they look at a new project excited. They get excited about moving and excited about a new project and excited, uh, you know, um, about get, getting something ready and planning and um, all that. But I think that... <sighs> I think maybe a young person is going to maybe start working for you or you is going to a younger person. You're going to hear about a job from a younger person or there's something, there's a message coming in about a new position. I see this as a new position, something you haven't um, done before, like uh it's it's not in your normal skill set is kind of what i'm saying okay it's not in your normal skill set now in your future energy libra you have the high priestess the high priestess is um she's uh She's kind of floating in between everything. She's uh, above above the water, below the universe. Um, and, and the high priestess is about listening to your intuition. Your intuition is trying to tell you something, okay, in your future outcome energy. 
So there's messages coming to you from within. Like you, you can sense something. Okay. Let's see what it's about. Cups again. Jeez. <laughs> You're just full of cups this month in March. It it is a really a lot of renewal for you. Um and a lot of growth for you emotionally. Uh yeah, and you know the 10 of cups is about complete emotional contentment. This family is they they're happy. They you are um you're it, it, it's it's the family coming together this is all working out and 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 clicking together just right it's it's you've got the cats playing in the yard well it shows two women here but it doesn't matter it means emotional um the 10 is the not the end of the journey but i mean it's it's all you've needed to do in to attain this um this place this happy happy place that you feel now and your intuition i think is telling you that this is right this is right you know it it's it's about a matter of Feeling it, but not just with your heart, with your gut. With your gut. You can feel it, you know. Your instincts. Uh, the next card in your future outcome energy is the Page of Swords. Jeez, you got a, uh, a couple of pages here, right? Um, the Page of Swords is a message of truth coming in so you're going to hear about something like someone and and you know this could be a youthful air energy gemini aquarius or libra um it could be yourself libra um communicating like sending a message It could be, you know, you could be talking about how happy you are here um, because this is really all positive cards. Like if these were black and white cards, they'd all be red. I mean, black and white, <laughs> black and red cards, they'd all be red. You know, they're, it, it's so much positive energy and even your challenges are positive. Um, I, I don't see this truthful message as a bad one. I, I see it as it's, uh, it's all good. It's all good. Um, and here it shows you, um, working diligently. You're like, you're working into the night. You're working really hard at something to, um, cause you want to save some money. You're saving money for some reason. And it could be, um, to do with, you know, you can see the house in the background. Um, and it's like, you know, a really beautiful little sweet house there. And, um, I think that you are going to work a little harder now, work into the night. Maybe you're going to work uh, overtime. It's kind of what I'm seeing because you're working in the dark here, right? And you're working really hard on something is to, to save this money. You want to build up, you want to build up your finances now because it looks like you got a, you got a bit of a plan in mind. You might, um, Oh, hold on. We got one more card because the story isn't really filled out yet. Your last card is the Page of Pentacles. <laughs> so there's news coming in. Um, I, 
I don't think this is something that everybody knows about, though. Okay, so it's hard to see this. I know my darn glare, but there's a peacock there on the on the post. There's a peacock right there. See, and see his tail. Like his tail isn't fanned out like a peacock is, showing all its brilliance and bright colors. So, and if it was, that would be like, you know. Uh, uh, a message coming in that everybody knows it's blasted. This is something that not everybody knows about. And I, I, I think you might get um, some sort of message about, um, I think it's an investment because you have this uh, Eight of Pentacles, you know, right beside it. And then before that, the, the Page of Swords. So a message about money uh, and, and another message. And like I said, this... You know, he's standing in the light. He's standing in the only light there is. Bes beside him is shadow. He's in between the shadows here with his truth, okay? So this is also, you know, a message meant for few. And here's you working diligently. You know, you think you th you've found out about this and I think you're going to get right to work on it and figure out how you can work it in your plan in your uh budget in your budget you're trying to figure out how to work this this um this news this tip it's a tip see that it's a tip it's a tip um and then and and like i said here is another message this one is is financial for sure it's um it's you know it, it's also about stability because <sighs> pentacles are earth stability saving um but also risking at the right time like sometimes you need to take risks and sometimes you need to hoard and save and i think that this um like i said this is a message not for everyone this is i think you're getting an inside um an inside message i don't think you're the only one you know i think there's other people that know about it but there's just not a lot of people i'm really getting that okay i know this is there's also another alternative um these are both young people these pages and it could be um then this family and contentment and everything you're in is um they could be kids like uh older children in this relationship you've st you've come in and these are like one could be yours and and the other child could be theirs and or they could be both yours or both theirs whatever but anyway they're totally very different kids they're uh, um opposite i don't think so you know what this is about speaking in the shadow this guy he's he's i got this the, he's whispering secrets you know he's whispering secrets you're hearing from this guy and you're thinking it might it's gossip you're not sure whether to go with it or listen to it or trust it and then you hear from this guy and you're like wow this is this is two people now i'm hearing about this i wasn't sure but the first guy because it seemed 
you know, this guy's involved in whispers and stuff. And, and, um, this one is more, um, um, solid news. It's news you can count on. It's more like this person doesn't talk about what they don't know about. Okay. They, they only talk what they know about. They learn about it and then they communicate it. This person talks, just talks and talks and talks. And it's not always founded on, it's like half truth. There's half, there's, you know, you, and, and you see the tiles, you know, there's half dark, half light. They're all in between. There's, you know, there's no, Like it's the only thing that's consistent is, is that it's inconsistent. So this is what I'm saying. You're not really trusting this when you hear it here. But I think when you hear it from this person, you're saying, well, okay, this is two people now. I really trust this guy, this person. And I, 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 I think it's a more solid now that I've heard it from, from both of them. Okay. Very interesting reading, Libra. And you know what, too? You know that your instinct was the first card in your future outcome, this line of cards. And it's saying trust your instinct. Trust your instinct. Trust your instinct. You know. You know, you can kind of smell it. You can kind of smell it, I think. Eh? And I think you have that talent where you can smell um I think the only problem with you is that you you're going to weigh it too much. I shouldn't say too much. You're going to weigh it, you know, back and forth. In in this guy, I think it's a good thing that you wait. And you weigh it. Um, I know, Libra, you want to really move on something. You kind of um, are jumpy. But um, I think, you know, trust your instincts with what you feel. And if it doesn't feel right, don't move on it until it does. That's what the message is, okay? This is a really nice reading. And um, um, there's a lot of emotional fulfillment happening in this reading for you and um, I'm really happy for you. Um, please like, share and subscribe. Um, you can find me on Facebook as well at uh, Tinker Tarot. I've just started up my website. It's going but um, I'm still working on it and I should be um, ready for personal readings on March 6th if I get it figured out. I'm not very tech savvy, so it's taking me longer, but you know, I'm working on, working on it. Um, and I'm going to have a lot of other things in there, like tools that you can use to help you figure out things on your own, um, on your own time, you know, because I know that some people wait for these readings to come out and to have guidance. And these are tools that, you know, uh, you can print them off. I'm hoping that you'll be able to print them off and, and I'll make templates and stuff for you to use to help you with some of your queries that you have. So anyway, thank you very much, Libra. Have a great uh, March and happy St. Patty's Day.